Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here with a flower card today. I will be using a new stamp set that has just been released by Alte New. This is the Flourishing Zinnia. It is a layering flower stamp set, one of my favorites that uh, always uh, Alte New comes up with. And um, I am going to show you the leaflet that comes with the stamp set. And here you can get lots of ideas on how you can put your card together, how you can uh, place the sentiments and different color combos for your flowers. And at the back, as always, you will get the layering guide. For my stamping, I'm going to use the Red Cosmos Oval Set. I like those sets because you don't have uh, to think of uh, which colors to put together on the layering stamps. But you also get the option to get them uh, separately and they also come in a small uh, little ink tubes so they are more economical if you want to grab more colors. So for the first layer I used Frosty Pink. This is the second layer and I'm using Coral Berry. For the third layer I'm using a Ruby Red. This is a gorgeous color. And for the last layer I'm using Grape Vine which is the darkest one. And now my flower looks real dimensional. I used the matching die to cut out the flower and now I'm using uh, embossing ink. I'm going to stamp the last layer of the flower with that ink and I'm going to apply some anti-gold embossing powder just to add some shine at the center of my flower. And I have already prepared my leaves as you can see I have stamped them and cut them out. Again these were three layers of stamping. So I will work on my card base now before I put the flower together. I decided to work with one of the new white washi tapes and um, I do have a video where I'm using most of them but I didn't use this one, the black and, the black and white one. So I decided to use this today. Now what is great about the washi tape is that if you stick it like I did here with uh, bubbles you can always peel it off and do it one more time. And if you use your bone folder to smooth everything out, you will see that you will get perfect results. I'm going to use this banner die. This is called Party Banner Die from an earlier release by Altenew. And it also comes with two little uh, dies that you can cut out at the top to thread some uh, ribbon or string. Now in this case I'm not going to use those holes, I'm just going to cut out the banner. I'm going to place the banner on top of a card base that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm making sure that it is flush at the top so this gives me a little area at the bottom where I'm going to stamp the sentiment. I'm going with the sentiment from the same stamp set as the Zinnia flower and I want to stamp in that little uh, white triangle that is left down there the word awesome so I'm going to mask off the top part of the sentiment and I'm going to use my black ink for the bottom word that says awesome. Now I am using my Misty today for doing all the stamping. It's really helpful to use any stamping platform that you have to do the layering and it's also uh, helpful to do the sentiment as well since I want it to be nice and black so I had to stamp it twice. And now on a piece of white uh, cardstock I'm uh, going to do the reverse thing. So I'm going to stamp the You Are Simply. Which then I'm going to use my paper trimmer to cut it out into a thin strip. And now I'm ready to put everything together. For the top of my card base I'm going to use my corner chomper and uh, around the edges. This is going to make sure that they will nicely nest together without having two little uh, dog ears uh, on uh, each side but you can always use your scissors and uh, cut off the excess. Now at the back I'm using some foam tape so I have some dimension between my card base and that uh, big banner and I'm also going to use foam squares at the back of my big flower there. I love the um, size of it because it's a, a great focal point and uh, covers up a great deal of the card. Now for the leaves I'm going to chop off a, a part of them since I need to tuck them underneath the flower and I'm using glue for uh, the leaves so these are going to lay uh, flat on top of my banner while I will have dimension on the flower. I always like to have different layers of all my elements on top of my cards. I also used glue at the back of this thin strip and I'm going to stick it in place to complete my sentiment. And the white glue that I used is actually Nouveau Deluxe. 
Now to finish off my card I'm going to add some white dots with my Nouveau Drops. And my card is finished. I hope you had fun and you got inspired. Don't forget you will find the full list of all the supplies that I used today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Here are some close-up photos on the card that I made for today. Thank you all so much for visiting and I'll see you next time.